Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. Today I'm gonna to show you the Keystone Passport 189 RB. This is an ultralight. Um, if you've never heard about the Passports before, it's uh, one of Keystone's highest selling ultralights. Um, they've been around for, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 years now, probably about 12 years. Um, and they've come a long way since then if you've been watching them. This is a cool new floor plan. Came out last year in 2021. Um, and this is a 2021, but there's only gonna be very small changes uh, going into 22. One of them being that it will come standard with a solar panel. Uh, that's kind of the big change for 2022 from factory. Um, but otherwise, we'll go through it. There's not a whole lot difference between a 21 and a 22, so let's just get started. So right up at the front, Passport always does really nice big pass-through storage. Can't miss it in this guy. And then where it kind of bows out there, that's where the Universal Docking Center is. At the end of this video, you'll see that. Uh, we'll do a little segment on that. Slam latch doors, it's really nice. On magnetic catches. Okay, um, all Keystone stuff comes with a power tongue jack and four power stabilizers. It's nice to have. Power awning on everything, especially at this price point. This guy's gonna have an enclosed and heated underbelly. That's what this extended season uh, camping sticker is talking about. Um, so there is actually a furnace duct that will blow in, keep your tanks warm, keep them from freezing. Okay, little outside kitchen. You don't really see that a whole lot at this size in a couple's unit. So this is really, really cool. Um, this guy just slides out. And then you got two burner stove that slides out. So a couple things to know with this. Not only is it fairly functional, you know, you got a little bit of extra space in addition to your two burners and then your fridge. Um, this is also made of metal. So a lot of the, the outside kitchens that they've done for years and years now are like a chipboard or a press board, like a regular countertop. It's only maybe gonna last you a few years. This is a nice innovation. This will last you a long time. You just gotta wipe it clean, that's it. So round back, got your ladder up onto your roof. Of course, that is a walkable roof. So get up there, maintain your seals, keep it clean. Spare tire, of course, comes standard. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, welcome inside. Really cool, spacious little floor plan. So Passport does one of the biggest U-shaped dinettes in the industry. Um, some of these can be misleading where they have a very small table or something like that and the seating is quite awkward. Passport's got the dimensions just right. So when you fold this down, it'll also become a double bed, but you can also seat four here comfortably, okay? Um, storage underneath, you got nice big drawers. Passport will always do that where they have a U-shaped dinette. Counter space, you got tons of it. Countertop extension. Sink covers are standard, okay? Seamless countertops, lots of room here. Oven, uh, three burner stove. Underneath, you got a pots and pans drawer. You wanna have a look at that guy. And there's cabinets all the way around. TVs are standard in these guys, okay? Um, Two-way gas electric fridge. This is the six cubic foot. Um, this is an option. If you wanted, you could get a 12 volt fridge on these guys. Um, we kind of bring in a kind of a combination of both just to offer more things, but there are uh, options available for that. And uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the trailer. You got tons of storage here. Okay, so pantry, closet, whatever you wanna use it at. And uh, one thing I should mention about the dinette is that back piece there, that back bench, that lifts up and there is even more storage under there. I'll trade sides with you. So it's a Murphy bed style. You got your little couch, little futon. This just pops down. There's, there are three drawers under there as well, just for extra storage. So this guy just pops down like that. Latch on either side. And you got your full size queen mattress there. If you uh, prefer not to have the Murphy bed, just leave it set down then as a regular bed. You will have to bring it in on this particular one when, uh, when you bring your slide in, just because of the dimensions of the trailer. Um, but super easy to set up. You can leave your sheets on there. Really, really easy to use. Um, give you nice nightstands on either side. There's USB ports, plugins, all that fun stuff. And then of course, closets on either side as well. We'll rotate again, I'll show you the washroom. So as you're walking in, Got your digital thermostat. You're finally going away with those analog ones. And then your washroom. So lots of space around the toilet, lots of counter space, medicine cabinet, double door, lots of space, window out the back, and of course a nice big shower. It's got a retractable door, skylight in there for extra room, fan, it's got everything. Passports always come pretty loaded up. So this is the Passport 189 RB. It's in the SL series, which is their smaller series, the super lights. Um, the bigger ones are called the GTs. Watch for our videos on those. I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer.
All right, now I'm gonna show you the universal docking center that's available on all the Passport models, even their small little guys. So on the back side of your pass-through storage, where you have your nice slam latch and your magnetic catch, um, you'll notice all your outside hookups, okay? So super convenient. This is your outside shower. You got your fresh and your city water connections right there. Um, switches for your power jacks, front and back. So those are nice out of the elements. You don't have to worry about, you know, wires getting corroded and stuff because they're gonna stay nice and dry in there. Um, you got your satellite prep and then your key TV hookups as well. What key TV is, is basically you have a universal hookup for all the TV outlets inside the unit. Um, when you're running your, your water system, let's say your city water connection, there is just a cork here. You just pop that, slide that through, and then that's where you would have your, uh, your fresh water hose connected to your city water connection. Right next to your hot water heater, everything is nice and compact and easy to access. Mike from Arcana Trailer, I'll catch you next time.